Today on Titan Sports Recap, women's soccer continues to shoot out their opponents as they face the Rainbow Wahimi. Titan Ice Hockey is back and they face USC this weekend in their quest for the win. And this breaking news on two Cal State Fullerton baseball players. This and much more on Titan Sports Recap. Hello and welcome back to Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. We've got a great episode in store for you. I'm Kyle Lowe, along with my co-host, Jasmine Arenas. Hi Kyle, so glad to be here today. You know, first, tell me, how was your weekend? Well, I ended up actually going to Vegas and wow. seeing the Baruto movie. Turns out it was actually in Japanese, so that was a bit of an interesting <laughs> Wait, day for so me. Wait, so Baruto is Naruto? It's Naruto's son, who then has his own adventure. It's a whole story, it would take me forever to tell it. <laughs> Well, you know what was big also? This weekend in sports, we had a great weekend. Yes, we did. But let me tell you, let's jump right into the action with women's soccer, okay? Women's soccer continues to make records since their win on Sunday night against Hawaii. The Titans earned their fifth shutout of the season. Reporter Jeffrey Barner has more on the game. Jeff. Well, just by looking at the screen, you can't feel how hot it is. But believe me, it was up there as the Titans take on the University of Hawaii. Now, like any good soccer game, it started off 0-0, but it didn't last long as Rebecca Wilson totally does a 180 to hit in the goal, which looks like to be the back of her head, but with closer look, it's off her shoulder. Titans go up 1-0. That would mark Rebecca Wilson's 11th goal of the season, but believe me, there's more to come. Now moving on to the second half, and the game's getting a little bit more heated, but a cross goes and finds Rebecca Wilson, who instead of hitting it with their shoulder, decides to go for the head, giving her her 12th goal of the season, putting the Titans up 2-0. Hungry for that hat trick, Rebecca Wilson storms the goal, but hits it off the post, but Diego comes in to clean up the mess, putting the Titans up 3-0. Wilson would get her hat trick, putting the Titans up 4-0. Let's see what the coach had to say. We expected it, we hoped it would happen, and we knew that she had the potential to do so. And so I think uh, what's going on now is we're all witnessing what happens when a young lady puts in a lot of hard work in her career and then has the opportunity to demonstrate what she's been doing. Uh, I definitely expect to build. Last uh, season I only scored 10, and I should have had double that, so I'm going for as many as I can net. Okay, awesome. The Titans took care of the job tonight, beating Hawaii 4-0. They look to keep this streak alive, heading into UC Irvine to take on the Anteaters next Friday at 7 p.m. From Titan Stadium, Jeffrey Barner, Titan Sports Recap. Over the weekend, two Titan brothers were injured. CSUF underscore Titan Baseball on Instagram said, wishing a speedy recovery to the, these two Titan brothers that were injured in a full-speed outfield collision. Both our boys are stable and on the road to recovery. We hope they get well soon. Men's soccer fell short of the win by one goal on Sunday at UC Santa Barbara. After a dominant first half, Titans' Julian Okai volleyed one past Santa Barbara keeper Justin Von Steg to put the Titans up 1-0. Less than a minute later, the Gauchos answered right back with the penalty kick, managing to score it right past Titan keeper David Elias to tie it at 1-1. But Fullerton headed into overtime, and in the 103rd minute, the Gauchos were too quick and rocketed one over Elias to take the game 2-1. You know, Kyle, what's interesting about this game is that in not even this game, but both of these teams, men's soccer and women's soccer, they both have an exceptional great season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fact that they lost in overtime says a lot about their defense and their offense. No, of course. I mean, with the pressure that's been put on them, both of them winning the Big West, everything, everyone has them under a microscope. But I think they've done really well, especially as they've headed into conference play. You know, I think that they've got a promising season ahead, and it's only going to get better. The hunt for October is on. The three former Titans are now moving closer in the postseason. Christian Colon of the Kansas City Royals fell to the Houston Astros on Sunday 4-2 and fell back in the series at Minute Maid Park in Houston. The Astros lead the series 2-1. The last former Titans are no other than Justin Turner and Tim Wallach of the Los Angeles Dodgers. They are now headed to Queens, New York to face Turner's former team, the Mets. The series is tied at one apiece. Some people are surprised or not surprised about the Chase Utley slide that happened on Saturday. Well, going on to the stats, Cologne played in 43 games for the Royals in 2015 and battled 290 with 31 hits and 11 walks and 119 plate appearances. Turner had a phenomenal season for the Dodgers and played in a career-high 
126 games. He had 113 hits, which tied his career best when he was with the Mets in 2011. Turner crunched out a 294 batting average with 16 home runs and 60 RBI. Both are career best for Turner. This is Tim Wallach's third straight postseason appearance with the Dodgers, his second as bench coach. Well, Kyle, let's talk about Chase Utley's play because that was a pretty controversial play. What are your thoughts on that? I understand why it was so controversial. What he was trying to do was break up the double play, and he did that. He did go outside the baseline, and he did end up badly hurting the, the defender. So I understand why people are mad, but he just was trying to make a baseball play. And we're going to have to see what Major League Baseball says about that. You know, they're trying to, he's trying to... Uh... Appeal his appeal suspension. His, That's his right. Suspension. Yeah. So they his might say suspension. they might let him pay. They might not let him play. And it's going to be a big blow for the Dodgers. No, yeah, definitely. So we'll see what happens. Basketball season is coming upon us. The men's basketball team will be playing their annual blue orange scrimmage to showcase what they got. The 2015-2016 squad will be playing on Saturday, October 24th, in the Titan Gym, with doors opening at 10:30 a.m. and the scrimmage starting around 11. Fans will be able to see a whole new squad with only four returners on the roster. Coach Diedrich Taylor said, We have a number of events planned this fall to interact with our fans and community, but the Blue Orange scrimmage is certainly what I'm looking forward to. It will give our students, fans, and community the opportunity to see a very different squad than last season, with many new faces. And we'll also give our student athletes a chance to play in front of a crowd for the first time this year, which is always exciting after weeks of workouts and practices. Returners Lana Earl Johnson, Kennedy Asume, Malcolm Brooks, and Sheldon Blackwell are in high spirits to see a brand new team. Along with Brooks, Trey Coggins are eligible to play this season. Both players are expected to add diversity to the offense with the ability to shoot from long range. Attention all Titan women's basketball fans. If you love to bowl for fun or competitively, then the Cal State Fullerton women's basketball team invites you to their second annual basketball fundraiser on Sunday, November 8th. The day will include unlimited bowling billards, food, and drinks to support the 2015-2016 team. There will also be a meet and greet after the silent auction. Head coach Darren Park said this, We are excited to be making basketball an annual event. It is a great week for our fans to connect with our program and get to know our student athletes on a personal level. With so many new faces this season, it will be a great introduction to our team in a very relaxed and fun manner. Make basketball better than ever. Quest. Women's volleyball is still on the quest for their first win of the season, and they came up just short after three hard-fought games Saturday night, as the Titans fell to UC Davis three games to zero, 25-13, 25-23, and 25-18, in a Big West Conference game in Davis. The Aggies moved to 9-11 overall, and it was their fourth straight conference win. For Fullerton, they moved to 0-16 on the season, and 0-4 in conference play, but they showed many positive signs on Saturday. Sophomore Kyra Hill tallied 11 kills to lead the Titans on a night when they tallied 33 kills as a team, while senior Mackenzie Olsen dished out 29 assists to go along with 7 digs and a team-high 4 blocks in the loss. Freshman Summer Kearns added 8 kills, while senior Candace Thomas and freshman Kyra Smith had 5 apiece. For the Aggies, Kendall Walbrecht led the way with 13 kills, and Kaylin Squires and Nicola Moore added 12 apiece. Squires finished with an impressive double-double as she also had 10 digs, and Sophia Marr dished out 41 assists. The Titans will stay on the road next weekend as they face Cal Poly on Friday the 16th and UC Santa Barbara on Saturday the 17th. Both games will be at 7 p.m. In the third day of the beach tennis tournament at Long Beach State, the doubles team of Emilia Perkowski and Danielle Pham defeated Vivian Lin and Jessica Warren of CSUN 8-7 to clinch the Flight B Championship. Berwaski and Pham had Fullerton's first title of the fall. Competing in the Flight A Finals, Camille De Leon and Alexis Valenzuela fell 8-5 to Laura Eels and Haley Thompson of Long Beach State. In the extra matches, Sarah Nuno and M Masako Makiba defeated the Wisconsin team of Lauren Burridge and Kelsey G Grambu. The Titans added two more wins in the extra single matches, with De Leon defeating Tracy Pong of PCU and Nuno against MT's Cam Kincaid. The Titan tennis team will head down to San Diego for the ITA Southwest Regionals on Thursday, October 15th. Well, let's roll things over to the ice. This weekend, Titan Ice Hockey looked for their second win of the season against the USC Trojans, Kyle. Cal State Fullerton facing the USC Trojans for a matchup at East West Ice Palace. Let's go second period with the action begins. Bert Gert on his way to score, but Tyler Cameron holds him down and that now gives USC a penalty kick. Bergerd one on one with Skobelski and it goes in, tying them at two. Minutes later, Grand Marhoff on the hunt for a goal and he scores! 
Titans are now in the lead 3-2. Grant Marhoff with his first goal of the season. Minutes later, it's not over for the Titans because Griffin Cortez scores another one past the defender. Titans are in the lead 4-2. Going ahead to the third period. Put power on the ground in the third period. The doctor picks him up and says, it's going to be fine, buddy. But, you know, that doesn't stop the Titans as they score one last time to take the win 5-2. This is the second time this season the Titans take the win against USC. And for your Titans timeline, highlighting the biggest games in the next couple of weeks, men's soccer continues conference playoff season on Wednesday, October 14th. They travel back home to face UC Irvine on Saturday, October 17th. Season on Wednesday, the 21st, and Saturday, October 24th. All games start at 7 p.m. With a 2-1 record in conference, the women's soccer team heads onto the road to face the Anteaters of UC Irvine on Friday, October 16th at 7 p.m. and UC Riverside on Sunday the 18th. The team will then host CSUN on Sunday, October 25th at 5 p.m. Women's Volleyball are hoping to find their first win against Cal Poly on Friday, October 16th and continue their road trip at UC Santa Barbara on Saturday the 17th. Then they will host UC Irvine on Friday, October 23rd and the Aggies of UC Davis on the 24th at 7 p.m. Men's basketball plays their blue-orange scrimmage on Saturday, October 24th at 11 a.m. Women's basketball hosts their first exhibition game against Cal State Los Angeles on Thursday, October 29th at 7 p.m. And Titan, has, Titan Ice Hockey looks for another win against Northern Arizona on October 18th at 12.15 p.m. at East West Ice Palace. And remember all our social media outlets. You can catch our entire video highlight library on our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash titansportsrecap. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSUF Sports Recap. Find us on Facebook for updates on all Fullerton athletics. And check us out on Instagram for behind the scenes photos. Follow us at Titan Sports Recap. Well, that's all going to do it for this episode of Titan Sports Recap. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle Lowe. And I'm Jasmine Arena. See you guys in two weeks.